Hello, um, I'm going to show you uh, how to build a truck load by using two steps of QMAS online. So I mean, uh, you have to build uh, parallel load by using the new parallel load. And then you have to place the pallet on a truck by using the new truck load. So you have to use two different steps. Okay, in the first, you have to press new pallet load. And we have a two different pallet by default setting, but it may be different on your computer. So if you don't want to use, just remove it. And we want to use GMA pallet. And in the next step, we want to upload an Excel file. So I prepared a very good sample and just press open and the upload was successful and we have 14 cargoes with 27, 28 uh, amount to be placed in a pallet. And press the calculate button which will build the pallet load. Now we have the result which shows we have 27 pallets. Okay. Now we are going to press new new truck load which is second step. And we want to start a new load by pressing OK button. And then this is asking you for your decision. You want to save the cargo, uh, save the pallet load to the covers of the covers for your new load. Okay, now we have a new truck load. Uh, in this screen, you're gonna see we have a cargo list, which was converted from pallet load. So that's why we have uh, 26 lines and each line has pallet load and you are not allowed to change the size or weight because they are already fixed. And in the trucks we're gonna remove this one. Okay now we are all set just press the calculate button we have the result. So you're gonna see we have one truck and it was filled with 26 pallets. So you can see we have a beautiful truck load which was filled by your pallet load. And you can see the palletizing uh, filter. So if you click uh, some of them, you will not see um, where it was placed on a truck. So if you go 